Welcome YouTube. Today we are going to focus on calculus integration of a definite integral by substitution. Please like, comment, subscribe, and donate to my channel. My cash app is with the dollar sign up front, Fantastic Baseball. Here is a definite integral from negative 1 to 0 of x plus 2 divided by x to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 1. So the first step is to let u equal x squared plus 4x minus 1. du will be represented by the derivative of x squared plus 4x minus 1. So du is going to equal 2x to the power of 1, because we take the exponent of 2, multiply it by the coefficient of 1. 1 times 2 is 2, and then subtract 1 in the exponent area, and we will obtain the power of 1. Then the derivative of 4x will be 4. And then put parentheses around this, and then dx. And then we want to divide both sides by 2x plus 4. Now the problem will read the integral of negative 1 to 0 of x plus 2. divided by u divided by 2x plus 4. And then we want to make this a fraction, and so we want to divide that by 1. And then we will multiply by the reciprocal, and then du. So from negative 1 to 0, of x plus 2 divided by u times by 1 over 2x plus 4 du. The 2x plus 4, we can factor a 2 out of there, and this will read negative 1 to 0 of x plus 2 divided by u times 1 over 2, and then what's left is x plus 2. When we pull a 2 out of there, du. And now we can cancel an x plus 2 there. So they will cancel out there. So now this problem is going to read from negative 1 to 0 of 1 divided by 2u, du. So now we can factor out a 1 half in front of the integral. So it's going to be 1 half times negative 1 to 0 of 1 over u du. Please let this marinate here. So the next step is to take the integration of 1 over u du, and that will yield us 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of u from negative 1 to 0. And then earlier in the problem, we substituted for x squared plus 4x minus 1 and called it u, and so we need to place this back, so it's going to be 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 4x minus 1 from negative 1 to 0. Let's have that marinate there. So. The first step, we plug in the top part of the integral into the 
function minus the bottom part of the integral, and which is of negative 1 into the function. So it's going to be 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 1 minus the natural log of the absolute value of negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 1. And then we close it off with the absolute value side or the bar. We'll rewrite this again. 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 1 minus the natural, natural log of the absolute value of negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 1. And then the other part of the absolute value bar. And then this will yield 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of 0 squared plus 4 times 0 is 0 plus 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So that will be the natural log of negative 1 minus the natural log of negative 1 squared, which is 1, plus 4 times negative 1 is minus 4, and then minus 1. Okay? Now, this will give us 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of negative 1 will be 1. So the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 1 minus 4 minus 1, which will be, and that should state, natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus 4 minus 1 will be the absolute value of negative 4. And let's have that marinate there for a second. And then we will move on to the next part. So, 1 half times the natural log of the absolute of 1, or the absolute value 1, which will be natural log of 1, minus natural log of the absolute value of negative 4 there, which will be the natural log of 4. We flip the sign in parentheses there because the 1 half is going to multiply to both parts. And then natural log of 4 can be writ rewritten as natural log of 4 is equal to the natural log of 2 squared. Okay? And then with the rules involving natural logs and logs, we bring the power up front. So this can be rewritten as natural log of 4 is equal to 2 natural log of 2. So 1 half times natural log of 1 is equivalent to 0 minus 2 natural log of 2. So 1 half times 0 minus 2 natural log of 2 is ne negative 2 natural log of 2. And we can go ahead and factor that negative 2 out. And so 1 half times negative 2 natural log of 2. And put parentheses around our fraction there. Okay.
So, 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1, then times natural log of 2, and that will equate to negative natural log of 2, and this is our solution. If you need math help, text 559-744-3169 for services. Thank you so much and let's learn math together.